What's going on, guys? Welcome back. So it's come to my attention that uh, you guys, or some of you guys don't know how staking works for EverRise or just staking in general. Maybe you're new to crypto. Maybe you're new to EverRise. Uh, maybe you're new to staking or the staking world. You've been in crypto, but you've never actually gone with staking for any uh, any sort of uh, of the cryptocurrencies. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about EverRise. We're going to talk about how the staking works. We're going to talk about how to stake it, what happens when you stake your coins. Uh, so that way you can understand the process that goes through staking in general when it comes to cryptocurrency and when it comes to EverRise. With that being said... This is not financial advice. I'm just explaining how the system works when it comes to staking. Uh, hopefully you find it uh, somewhat informational. It helps you out. Awesome. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. There's a lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed. The channel keeps growing and I appreciate it. But keep it going. If you're, if you're joining us for the first time, thank you so much. And if you're a recurring viewer, hopefully you hit that sub button. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about EverRise. Here we talk about a lot of different things uh, regarding cryptocurrency, whether it's uh, news, whether it's uh, mining, whether it's EverRise, staking, uh, passive income, so on and so forth. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and switch my screen over. I'm going to pull up the EverRise uh, D app platform so we can go ahead and explain this and uh, put your mind at ease, I guess. All right, guys, guys, so right here we have the EverRise.finance uh, website. This is where their DApp platform is. This is where you go to stake your EverRise. Now, as you can see here, right here on the left-hand side, there are three different types of staking. You have on the Binance Smart Chain, the Ethereum Smart Chain, and right here it's covered up the Polygon Smart Chain. Most people are on the Binance Smart Chain. But it looks like a little bit more and more it's being spread across the ETH and Polygon um, uh, the, the chains for those two. Now, I personally just use the Binance chain because most of the cryptocurrencies that I invest in are on the Binance chain. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And it doesn't make a difference, to be honest. It's the same either way. Uh, you're going to connect your wallet and whatever your wallet is. So if it's like MetaMask, like for me, it's on MetaMask. I need to refresh it because it's not uh, not updated. But for me, it's on MetaMask. I'm on the uh, I'm on the Binance Smart Chain. You can see right up here, uh, it says Smart Chain. You can go ahead and change it to Ethereum or Polygon, whatever whatever uh, network that you're on. Okay, so your coins will show up in your wallet, assuming you have the correct um the correct wallet address okay so you have to have the right wallet address if you don't have the right wallet address it's not going to load this is the old wallet address or the old contract address i keep saying wallet address this is the old contract address right here you need the new contract address which is this one i'll leave a link to the contract address for you guys uh, it'll be the pinned comment so you guys can take a look at that all right so right here we have the platform so over here you have where your tokens will show up okay so if you have tokens available in your wallet they will show up here all right so you'll see balance uh you won't see it here because it's kind of cut off but you'll see balance on the right hand side above where it says max right here i don't have any tokens left in my uh in my wallet because i've already staked them all but it'll show up here and then you can go ahead and put in however many everrise tokens you want to stake you can do it percentage-wise here on a slider, or you can hit the the amounts right here, 25%, 50%, 75% or maximum. Then you go ahead and title it, whatever you want, and your lock period. So if you want to put it for a month, all the way up to 12 months. Uh, the longer that you have it staked, the more rewards that you will get. So keep that in mind. So if you stake for three months, okay, it'll be three times the rewards that a one-month stake will get. But if you're if you're staking for three times or three months and then you have another one staked for 12 months, the 12 months will be four times the amount of the three months and 12 times the amount of the one month. So just keep that in mind when you're deciding how you want to stake it. Now, there are fees if you end your staking early. OK, let's go over that really quick. So staking fees. Uh, where is it? Uh, withdrawal flexibility right here. So you can withdraw up to 60% of your stake tokens. 
but there will be a withdrawal fee, which is distributed to the staking pool, okay, if you end early. So if you withdraw within the first half of the staking period, you're subject to 25% early withdrawal fee. That means 25% of the tokens that you withdraw will get taken away and distributed to the staking pool. So that, that then will be distributed to the people who are still staking uh, their Everrise. If you withdraw during the second half of the staking period, it's 10%. So 10% of the amount that you withdrew will get taken away and distributed amongst the staking pool. So just keep that in mind. So if you withdraw, let's say 100, let's make it easy, 100 Everrise. 25 Everrise will be taken away uh, for the first half. And then 10 Everrise will be taken away for the second half. So just keep that in mind if you are uh, if you are withdrawing. Okay, so going down here, you have infinite rewards when you're staking your uh your when your staking time period ends and unlocks, you will continue to earn rewards on your stake tokens indefinitely until you decide to collect your funds. So even if the time period is done, so say forget for example, you do it for a month and you forget that your ever rise are being staked for that month, then they, they will still get rewards because they will still be staked because you did not unstake them. So keep that in mind. It's okay if you forget. You're not going to stop getting rewards because they will still be staked. Compounding. This is something that I've I've had questions about myself. Uh, every time the distribution... Uh, the, the, <laughs> every time the distribution of tokens takes place, you will get rewards proportionally to the staked amount plus the rewards you have by that time. So it is compounding on top of each other okay so i i had many questions how this was happening yes it is compounded even if it doesn't show that it's compounded and i'll show you that in a second nft rewards by staking nfts each time you complete a staking period collect them earn earn NS nfts not each time earn nfts uh each time you complete a staking period, collect them all by trying different staking periods with different amounts of rise. Flexibility, unstake with flexibility if you need if you need to. Paying the withdrawal fee, the tokens collected from the fees go back to the staking pool and are distributed to the stakes, which is what we talked about. All right. So, now let's go let's go back to the D app over here. So, we can take a look at my staking so that way I can show you guys examples. Okay, so right here I have, this is a three month and those two are six, are 12 months. So the 12 months, the, the I'm sorry, the three months here and the first 12 months are almost the same amount of tokens, 100,000. Uh, the 12 months over there, the first one, the rewards are about four times uh, what the, these rewards are right here. Okay, the rewards all the way down, which is my twelve, my, my second 12 months, that's based off of uh, 61,000. So, you know, the rewards are going to be different for that. Now, the reason why I said I had questions about the compounding aspect of it is because normally when you look at compounding tokens, it goes directly into your stake tokens or it goes into your wallet. So, if you guys have ever just gotten compounding interest in your tokens from holding them uh and you're used to that case in point a token like algorand which is a staking token um especially if you're on certain uh certain exchanges such as like coinbase uh and i think crypto.com but i think crypto.com you have to manually stake them where coinbase automatically uh compounds it for you so if you're used to that you you're not you, you this might scare you Okay, and the reason why I, I say this might scare you is because when you stake your tokens, they get taken out of your wallet. And I think that's where a lot of you guys have questions regarding the staking process and and why it concerns you. Okay, so right here, if we're in my wallet, I it, it looks like I have zero ever rise. So zero rise. That's because I have them all staked. Okay, all my tokens are still my tokens and they're all staked. Once this three month period is done, I can withdraw them, or I can unstake them, no penalties, and all the tokens and the rewards will go back to my wallet. 
Same thing with the 12 month ones. Once the 12 months is done, I can withdraw them and all the rewards, all the tokens go back to my wallet. So like I said, I feel like that's where a lot of you guys have concerns uh, and why it feels weird with the whole compounding aspect of it. So you look right here, you see your current balance versus your total state. Your rewards are going to be off of your current balance for those staking contracts. So even though your stake tokens originally was in this case 104,675, my rewards are going to be based off of the current balance every single time okay so that's just something to keep in mind when uh when you're doing your staking so you can understand what's going on personally i thought it would be like this one over here this is gremlins if you guys don't know gremlins uh you know that's that's okay uh gremlins is another cryptocurrency that you can stake to earn more gremlins but it doesn't compound it automatically you have to manually do it okay so that's you can see it right here there's a there's a compound there's a claim where you claim uh you claim your rewards there's a withdraw so you can withdraw all of your rewards so all of that so instead of claiming you can just click the compound it's a manual compounding uh so you do that and then it'll add the earned gremlin into the staked gremlin so i was hoping that the system would have been like that uh, for ever rise but it's not so ever rise instead is a manual or is an automatic compounding even if it doesn't say okay so i hope i answered your questions as far as how this works because again i, I get a lot of comments from you guys asking if i can explain this a little bit more because you're not understanding you don't know what happened to your tokens your tokens are not in your wallets so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I helped you guys out. I really do. Um, I will be back with some more EverRise videos, with some more cryptocurrency videos, and whatever I feel tickles my fancy for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like I said, a lot of you guys are not yet subscribed. Hopefully, we can change that today. And I will see you guys next time. Everybody, happy staking.